Happy Sunday, hi again. Happy Sunday. <laughs> it's that day of the week. Every Smash that week. like if you like us. <laughs> Smash. Go ahead and start smashing likes. Uh, what's up, guys? Happy Sunday. Thanks for joining. Uh, lots of fun stuff going on tonight. We're going to be checking out the tents. What's going on? We have new things on. going on. Yeah, lots of stuff going on. We're preparing. Oh. Oops, wrong button. We're preparing to um, start potting up all the Lord of Lemons in the triploid hunts and how we're going to be growing them. Yeah. So different. we'll be trying different methods. We're gonna be trying some new stuff, uh, lots of fun stuff coming up, guys. So we're gonna we're gonna go over, check out how all of them are doing, see where they're all at, where yeah. the any other plants, a few autos that we have finishing up, and uh, kind of give you guys a whole lowdown update there and some other fun stuff to talk about. We did just have a really major harvest. I don't know if you guys heard about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys are part of the Patreon, then you know about our massive. Uh, Harvest that we just did on Thursday, which was the dry, the drying tent is full to the brim right now. <laughs> Joking, guys. We uh, <laughs> clearly not master growers over here. <laughs> yeah. It was some autos that we uh, left in solos too long, and they definitely got I... stunted to the point where they were basically a single nug, like a little nug tree. <laughs> yeah. It was not the best plant, Mom. Yeah. And that. But... You know what? I bet I bet it'll be fire. You know, it happens. It happens. But we do have um, the Lord of the Lemons going on, and we got some stuff that we set up today. Yeah. Uh, to get those babies ready this week, so we're really excited about this run. We have a lot going on. We have. Yeah, Lord of the Lemons underway, Triploid hunt underway. We know a lot of you guys out there in the community are starting some of those too. So, if you guys want to get in, um, you can still use code Hunt over on uh, Humble. Yeah. Saved 10% off your order of some triploids. 15, sorry. Even better deals. Or for the uh, Lord of the Lemons, really any strain that has lemon terpenes or crossed with some kind of lemon parent, you can run that as well. The list of strains that we're running is, uh, you can find that on the Discord yeah. or over on um, Dakota's video that he made over on Homegrow TV. So, pff. Awesome, man. Yeah, I've I see so many people in the community growing along with us on this one. So um, this is this is kind of a big deal. It's kind of fun. We I've never been a part of a grow along that's this big. So yeah, this is uh, really exciting, and I'm really excited because we learned a lot in the last year from being in the studio and what the environment takes to get it dialed in. So. Um, I know we say this every time, but I'm thinking this is gonna be our best run yet. Right. <laughs> So just see the chat lighting up out there. What's up, Norman G? What's up, fam? Frosty Farms, Marty, Frankie Z, what's up? See you guys out there in the side chat. Thanks for joining again, everybody. Happy Sunday. Yeah, 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 yeah. We did just drop a video on Friday. I know, like, a lot of people um, didn't really have the best... Uh, reaction to it, but um, I'm happy about it. I'm happy that the the Pulse One, or uh, I'm sorry, the Pulse Zero is out, and it's. If you guys don't know, you need to check it out at least. I know uh, a lot of people are already like, Are you gonna go out there for the money? But no, for real, we really just stand behind the product. So, um, just if you guys haven't checked that video, check it out. <laughs> I just wanted to say that because we have. Quite a few comments saying, you know, like where are the grow videos yeah, mainly. So we understand. And, we're, yeah, where they're coming. I they're they're in the works, guys. We were actually just talking about this uh, on the other day with the patrons, and I think what we're going to try and do is go back to the kind of the vlog style, more yeah. up to date um, videos, kind of in between the seed to harvest, just because yeah. that's what takes the most time, and like editing those is a pretty big undertaking. Like it takes me a long time, and just with working, we obviously still both work full time full-time jobs, nine hours a day, Monday through Friday for me, and then just the family and the house, and still just getting used to, I guess, everything, even though it's yeah. been uh, just a little over a couple of years now, um, but it's still kind of hard to like find that rhythm to like work on everything and be able to keep up with it. So we know you guys are dying for grow videos. They're coming. And they're coming. So the, the live streams are a fun way to keep you guys up to date. Um, you know, but it's still not like a fully edited video, which just does take time. So I was trying to figure out a way that we can do this better to keep the content flowing, you know, so it's just yeah. more more up to date with what's going on. Because I do have a lot of seed to harvest to edit, but it's just, 
it's been a struggle to get get down and dedicate time to those with everything else going on. So I'm kind of trying to balance this workflow and life flow um, and get back at it. So uh, yeah, lots going on. Uh, the pulse video was fun. It was really cool. We've been using pulses in our garden for geez over a year now, um, and it really has helped change the way I grow, especially oh, yeah. um, with the hub. Then when that came out and being able to see how that integrates in with the grows. It taught me a lot about the easy, and I think it's helping me get better with Floriflex every time. So now that I think we, we're changing up the watering yeah. um, system, and we'll talk about that a little, little bit when we go into the tent. Yeah, I want to show you guys uh, what we got going on and what we're going to be doing in here because um, we're going to be doing a whole lot of salt versus organic kind of situation. Uh, I know a lot of you will really love to see that. So. Uh, I'm excited to show you what we got going on. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be wild. So there's definitely definitely a lot there. So we, we show you guys in the tents and uh, I kind of each new system because we do have it's gonna be primarily all photos this run. We don't really have many autos going um, as you guys will see. We but do have the purple lemonade. Yeah, we're gonna be trying we're gonna be trying the photos in kind of a few different methods or growing methods uh, that we're gonna try. So. We get to we just check out each tent and kind of our plans for which strains are going where and how we're going to try and grow them. So that's kind of kind of the game plan uh, for what's going down. So, do you want a bing bong? <laughs> we did uh, today. Speaking of grow videos, uh, did today uh, just film the ending portion to the fast buds. Well, not completely the ending. We have one more thing to film, uh, but we did do the tea check on both the organic and the Floriflex. Uh, fast flowers. The fast flower Tropicana cookies. So you guys have to stay tuned to see what that was at because yeah. it's actually very interesting. Yeah, yeah, super good. So it's uh, it, that was that was a fun one to see what they turn out as. So we'll have that full seed to harvest. I think we're gonna bump that one up because probably it's the most recent and we got a lot of really yeah. great kind of spin shots and stuff that you guys have probably kind of already in seen our mind and it's easier for us to talk about. Yeah. So I'm excited for that. And um, so we do have to sit down and just kind of talk about the grow and we plan on doing that in like hopefully this week and then we'll put that together. So hopefully that video will be out fairly soon. Uh, yeah. Again, you guys do got to bear with us because Neil is the only editor we have in the house. So... I'm the, the only editor, kind of, <laughs> kind of the only filmer, the only, you know. Yeah, he does everything. The guys, everything. So. I'm the everythinger, so I can he only is. do so much, guys. And I know you guys have been, where's the grow vids at? You know, you guys want to see them. So I'm trying to figure out a way to do that faster. Because we do do the weekly live streams uh, with the Patreon every Thursday. So we're usually going in, in the garden uh, in that stuff live. But it's not, you know, it's not like a full edited video, like a grow vid or something like that. So... I think what we're, we're going to be doing that definitely with these the trip boys and the lemon hunt. I'm thinking maybe every two weeks um, we'll drop a video then just kind of like where we're at with, with the plants, what we're doing at that current time. And then at the end, once we get all the way through, we will have a full like finished kind of seed harvest video to all encompass everything. I think that would be... I think it's going to be an exciting one. I'm hoping that will be like an easier editing workload on me that I can keep up with. Um, and just kind of let you guys see the, see the vids and what's going on faster. So it's still just, this is all pretty new and, and it's different than I think when we lived separately. I, Cause I think before when we were doing it, like I would go to heaven's house and we would film, you know, what was going in the tent in that day. And then I would go home and then the days during the week when I was working and I wasn't at her house, yeah. I was at home like grinding in and getting videos to like three in the morning. So I'm not staying up till three in the morning anymore. Um, so it's, it's, you know, trying to squeeze it in with work every day and then what's going on with the kids in the house and dinner and what needs to be done around here. So it's, it's been a, a juggle, but I hear you guys and I'm trying to figure ways to keep it, keep it going easier, keep it smoother. So <laughs> this is the, this is the new plan. We're going to, we're going to get it though. Um, so how about a bing bong and then we get in to the tents and you guys we also have a crop culture box that uh, was sent to us because we'll talk about that in a minute but we have another we have a box to open that was sent to us and uh, we haven't opened it yet we wanted to open it live so oh yeah Chris from um, crop culture sent us over a little thing 
uh, because he he had messaged me about doing the, kind of the, the macro, like the spin shots of the plants and how I do that. Um, and I did do that video with a live stream where we like shot it live and then like rendered part of it so you guys could see like how to get those spin shots. So he had some questions and I, I was like, oh yeah, just give me like a video call and I'll, I'll kind of explain my workflow or at least what I'm doing and then if you can glean any info. So I helped him out and he's like, oh, we'll do a giveaway. Uh, for you guys for, you know, for helping me out, answering my questions. He has like a- um, I'm like right in your face, I'm so sorry. Like a, like a box you can order with some different genetics and stuff like that. So it looks pretty cool, but he sent us a box just to say thank you for helping him with his questions on uh, the photography end of things. So super cool, we'll be opening that up. And he also did later. do a giveaway for us because we lost our Instagram. So he, uh, he put a giveaway up for us and- uh, Yeah. And so, uh, just thank you again to he Crop had, Culture. He had some questions on, on the spins, on how, it, how to shoot the, the spinning macros. So I definitely want to do, do these, all these ones we recently harvest. I got shots of all of them. So the Neil to Heaven, um, the Tropicana cookies and all those. So those ones will be in the um, full seed harvest and they're gonna look so good because you, you can zoom in so much. Did you want a bing bong before we go? Um, no, I'm oh, good. Okay, I figured. But yeah, so I'm always down to help. If you guys are into photography at all and you're like brainstorming on how to do this kind of stuff, you guys can definitely message me. I'm, I'm down. To, I'm down to help out yeah, anywhere I can. If it's, and if you guys if it's about that, Neil know, loves to nerd out about this. Follow, about that. Follow the new Instagram, you guys. If you didn't realize and you can't find us anymore, it's I'm High Again now instead of just regular High Again because they, they deleted us. Yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, let's, let's let's take it to the tent. Yeah, let's do. Um, so, do you want me just to? I'm gonna pull these babies out and let you see them first, and then we'll show you the setup that we have going on. You want? We gonna check out the tents first? I was gonna check out the babies. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then, and then we can. So oh I'm yeah, just gonna, bring them out here. I'm just gonna pull this out. Oh, we did finally get some more key tags in, guys. So <gasps> if you're looking for the Oh, I just clinked it so hard. Did I just break that I light? I don't think we can clink proof oh, no, the whole I'm house. Clinking, oh my I'm God, clinking, clinking everything over here. You're just stop. a loose I need cannon. To just get... You need to wait till bing bong till after. <laughs> just stop touching things, heaven. <laughs> The Humboldts, everything, everything here uh, is doing great. And what you guys are looking at right now, all photos. All photos. Um, now, these two right here are the Humboldt triploids, uh, the donuts. And these ones are the orange cream pop. Orange cream pops look like they're doing great. These two right here are lemon bang bang. These... The lemon bang bang, I'm excited for those. That's not, is that exotic genetics? These two right here are Bahama Peel by Exotic. No, Bahama Peel is uh, Soul Fire. Or I'm so, I always do that, it's Soul Fire. I'm so sorry, Bahama Peel by Soul Fire. Lemon Bang Bang is uh, Exotic, correct? Yeah. Okay, and then this one is the only lemon Lime Kai uh, by Umami that made it. The other one did not pop. Yeah, so. one of them, we still, out of all the ones we started in the can can guys, which we had never tried, um, everything but one made it. So unfortunately, one one lemon kai from Umami didn't make it. But we got we got a survivor. It, it, I do want to say though, these uh, Bahama peel, I actually didn't. They didn't have tails when I actually put them in here. Everything else in here did, um, but they did end up popping like two or three days later than everything else. Just if you guys are planning on doing the Bahama peel, uh, don't give up on her easily because. She had a long, uh, what do you call that? Seedling little stage. <laughs> I can't think right now because I just took stage. that gigantic bong in it. <laughs> um, but you guys get it. If you guys just know, they just pop a little later than the other ones. So, yeah. So that's how those are doing. I'm excited to put these in their new homes if you guys want to check those out. Yeah, so let's kind of go down the line here. So, ten number one is we're gonna be running these uh, it, with the triploids are gonna be in this first tent, in a four by four. So we're gonna do the recirculating setup with the Floriflex like we've done for the Neil to Heaven and um, the unreleased copycat that we that Dakota sent us and we tried 
dubbed we dubbed the lot lizard uh and those all turned out pretty great in here one issue we did have with the last one with the meal to heaven is i think that we were over watering um the cocoa so it was staying too moist and we were having some fungus gnat issues so i did switch up to a new um just timer i found on amazon really cheap that does seconds so it can go down to a one second watering if we want and then we can set the interval so that way we can control the drybacks better and we won't probably have one of them had definitely had like root issues or root bound or something you guys yeah, will see. Yeah, there was definitely we knew early on there was something wrong with that plant. Now it was runty to begin with, so we kind of thought it was just the pheno, but then after growing it out and looking at the roots, uh, they just weren't healthy and I think that it was just because they were being overwatered. Yeah. So this tent is going to be Floriflex. Both triploids are going in here and we plan on scrogging them out the whole thing. Um, so that's yeah. the plan. That's so, the plan for time number one. And with the one. pulse, we are able to monitor the dry back. So we yeah. are excited for this run. Hopefully this scrog turns out beautiful, especially with these dang triploids, you guys. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. Trying, trying to watch the dry backs in the ECMPH has been working really well with the flex. We just, just to get better results, the more we can just follow the schedule. So Humboldt's are going in there. And then Lord of the Lemons. <laughs> that's just the top you see in there to the to the humidity dome. Yeah, so why don't you um, tell them what's going on here? So uh, this is kind of the same setup that Neil had last time with the Floriflex refeeding system. Uh, so he's going to kind of mimic what he did last time because, honestly, uh, it's working. So let's just keep rolling with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so same situation on this side. I'm switching the timer, guys, so it's going to have a newer um, timer like you see over there that will do second intervals because the AC timer just would the lowest it'll go is a minute and it's just way too much watering um, so we're gonna do more controlled lower output uh, more frequent watering so just you know a couple seconds at yeah. a time um, instead of what it's been doing so in honestly it's because of the pulse that we've been able to like figure these, these kind of things out which is I mean honestly amazing so I'm really excited about this next run as well yeah um, but I'm also excited about my little run that's happening over here. Um, obviously this does not go with this setup. I'll just take this kind of out. But this right here is an auto pot, auto watering system. And what it does is it fills up. There's a bottom tray here. Sorry, I didn't know where to put that. <laughs> There's a bottom tray here and um, it fills up and it basically waters your fabric pots up. It has this basic. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of you guys know how auto pots work, um, but this is just something new that we're gonna try. Uh, so it is all gravity fed, no pumps yeah. or timers. It's basically Very. a big tray that's gonna fill up. We're gonna sit two five gallon pots in there, yep. and then this thing will basically just water it as needed as they drink. Once the float goes down, it refills the tray. They drink till it's empty, and then we set up a little reservoir <clears throat> over here, a flexi uh, flexi tank reservoir, um, and then that's where the water will come from. So that's going to be um, two plants, and those are going to be running uh, organically on this side. So we're just going to put five gallon buckets, set them right in the tray, and see how see how that watering system works out. So we've heard a lot of good things uh, about auto pots from you guys, people who are out there using them. Um, so this is kind of our first little dip into it rather yeah. than uh, we don't have the single pot I'm setup. very excited about this because you guys sometimes I get busy and then I think did I water today no I didn't and then I'll forget and I'll think about it and then I'll, I'll totally forget again it's just one of those things I don't know why but this is and my plants have suffered because of it and that's my fault but this is gonna help me um, so, and then whatever, cause this is only going to be able to have four in it. So we actually have to yeah. figure out which ones are so going in I here. So I think the plan was we were going to do in the flex setup, At least since we have two orange two, yeah. creams, we're going to do an orange cream and flex and we're going to do an orange cream organic. Orange cream, yeah. And then we were trying to debate and maybe you guys can let us know, yeah, should we maybe, do yeah. a side by side of the lemon bang bang exotic genetics or the soul bah fire uh bahama peel because those are the only ones we still have two of each yeah um so we can do kind of a flex organic side by side 
So it'd be neat, but we'll definitely have to go back. Maybe we should do a poll. We should do, definitely do a poll. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're going to do a poll. You guys are going to decide which ones are going to go on the Floraflex and organic kind of head-to-head. But the last three um, will be going in this tent, and we'll be doing those organically as well, probably on the AC Infinity watering basis. Yeah, so these will just be organics, whichever ones are left, so the Lion Kai, um, and some of the other ones, those will be going in here into the last tent. So that's kind of the tentative plan for what we got going on for the ones that we're going to be starting or all these Lord of the Lemons and Donut Triploids. Yeah, so I'm excited to see what they want. Maybe we should, uh, man, I, I, I wish you had that camera up here How still. about the, the, the autos? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot we had autos in here too. Um, yeah, we do. We have a mango smile kind of, you know, it's, it's a, mango, it's something. Mango smile's coming along. <laughs> um, we did just harvest last like her, night, but... the two massivist plants. Uh, and then these are also, for Lord of the Lemons, these are, um, hey, water. these are purple lemonades by Fast Buds, both of them. So one of them is definitely, not really she didn't take so off, hot. she didn't take off so hot. Yeah. Uh, compared to everything else that's doing fine. So that one's just maybe a little slower than, than that one, but this is what we got going on with the no, autos. I can't give up on them so easy. Right, but we, we now we just, since we did chop those other two, we freed up a couple spots so we could we can germinate two more. So we'll probably start two more um, autos, whatever they might be, soon. Yeah. But the purple lemonade, I know a bunch of people have started growing the Fast Buds purple lemonade, so we're gonna see. This happy. She looks like she's doing okay. Yeah. I did put, um, actually, I put a powdered diatomaceous earth in this blend to keep down the gnats because it was something that we dealt with last time, and I haven't really seen any, so maybe it's helping. Right, yeah, I think we'll be, I think we'll be all right. I think the main thing was just the overwatering and oversaturation yeah. of the cocoa with the last ones was just a breeding ground because it was so wet and it never, sure. never got to dry back. But the new timer should help with that. I'm so happy about that. Yeah. I'm so excited. And I'm really excited about this scrog, you guys. Yeah, it's going to be dope. It's going to, with the triplets? Are you kidding me? It's going to be insane. The whole tent. <laughs> we want we want wall-to-wall -wall canopy in here. So this time, yeah. one thing we definitely learned uh, with the last run is that we're going to build our own scrog net instead of using the elastic yeah. cord one. We're going to build Because it was a pain in the butt to get get that netting off. Yeah, well, also, it's kind of a pain in the butt just to just to um, train those plants. But honestly, the end, is, it's so worth it. It's so worth it. That big bouquet, like, are you kidding me? It looked pretty good. <laughs> well, we can do it even better this time, I know. So let's put a poll up. Yeah. Cool. Uh, okay, so again, you guys, this is the Lemon Bang Bangs. So we're choosing between these ones or the Bahama Peel. By Soul Fire, exotic or Soul Fire, basically. You tell us. <laughs> you tell us. <laughs> Boo doop. So that's kind of what's going down with the plants right now, and then what we're gonna be, our plans for growing them all in kind of different methods. Let's see. Yeah, I'm excited to see this poll and see what you guys choose. Right. Um, Bahama Peel, yeah. Soulfire Bahama Peel. And what was the other one? Lemon Bang Bang. Which one is it going to be, you guys? Okay, um, also, do, okay, well, I do have this box to open. Oh, yeah, you want to open the, open the box? Yeah, What's in the box? Let's open the box while this pole does its thing. And, uh, wow, it's pretty friggin' even. Ooh, we're getting, we're getting, uh, while you guys are doing that, let's check out this box we totally yeah. forgot from Crowd Call so, Culture. So let me put this, these babies back here. I'm excited about this auto pot. Yeah, we're really excited to try the auto pots. We've heard so many good things. Um, 
So we're excited yeah. to see that tray thing is kind of interesting, I think. Um, different than like a two pot or a four pot setup, which we might look into. Uh, because then, you know, this two plants feeding off the same water, whereas if it was separate, they could kind of control their own, you know? I kind of pre-cut it, so it wasn't so hard to open. All right, let's in here. Again, thank you, Crab Culture, for Crab sending Culture this box. to us. Oh, look how cute this is. And this is like a little uh, thing that you can get, kind of like the box subscriptions yeah. to various things, so. You guys can get these, like. Yeah, uh, check, his, uh, yeah. check his Instagram out for sure. So, oh, some, some bud, bud trainers, some bud just trainer in time. Clips. Oh my God, is there genetics in here? Get out of town. Big body gelati. Uh -huh. Okay, like that. 50 shades of chem and sour gas. Hell yeah. Like that. I think I've seen this one before. And then a bunch of slaps because, oh my gosh. Gotta have some sweet slaps. Oh, that's me. <laughs> Do you see the resemblance? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> I like the Spaceman one. Oh my gosh, a lot of them. Look at that. Oh, some mycorrhiza. Hey, there That's we go. Good. That's can good for your roots. Some of that. It's good for your root. For the roots. Oh, look at this space guy. February 2024. Because these, there's one every single month, I think. He does a different is one every it? month. I think it's quarterly. Is it quarterly? Yeah. All right, well, cool. Well, that one is uh, February 2024. This is the February 2024 box. Oh, look at this. A little pin. And what the heck is this thing? A safe space to start your seeds. Is it kind of like a can of can? Kind of like a, like a germinator thing. I'm guessing. Interesting. Hey, and oh, some little grow that. bags. I Perf. like those little baby yeah. ones. Cool. So just a cool yeah. box with a bunch of stuff. Some, yeah, things, some, some fun things. Some genetics to try and some other little cool things. And... And yeah. probably, I imagine, some kind of canner-related thing. Let's see what this is. <laughs> oh, shoot. Feels complicated. This is heavy. All right, what's going on here? This box looks like a ninja. It's heaven proof. It's the ninja box. What the heck is this thing? Is this a heater? This is a straight up heater. Wow. I don't know why it needs to be that large. That's kind of scary, but okay. <laughs> I'm here for it. Yeah, it's uh, certainly heavy. Oh, well, okay. Well, I'll have to look into that later, but that's really fun. Um, yeah. Maybe I'll update you on the gram. <laughs> But thank you again to Crap Culture. That was so cool yeah. and so thank nice you, of Chris. you. He and just, thanks for uh, He sent that as a gift for friend. answering some photography questions. Um, so thanks, man. Appreciate it. And that's pretty cool. It's like a, he's just doing it himself, setting the boxes up and everything himself. So just a dude out there. What was that one? Doing cool stuff. Big body gelati. The big body. It's I the wide body in... gelati. Oh, there's quite a few in there. Nice. Okay. Photos, I'm guessing? Feminized or regs? Uh, it says Lotto 95. Here, X. you can hold it under the camera and show them. Oh, yeah. Okay. Forget about that. There you go. Oops. Hey. I don't know if you can even see it. Can you? Oh, it's upside down. Is it all backwards? It's all backwards. You can't even see it. <laughs> it's mirrored. Sorry. Just freeze frame it and yeah, then reverse it. Yeah, big body gelati. That's interesting. I'm into. I'm into it. <laughs> What's up, Bing Bong? I he, heard you saying my name. He he said he, he wants was... Neil first. Oh. oh, he wants Neil first. Oh, here we go. Thanks for joining, guys. Hope you guys are all having a good uh, uh, good Sunday. Getting ready for the week again. I know, right? We just did that so quick. I was only like. I can't wait until we have actual flowers to show you guys because each tent's gonna probably, <laughs> they're all gonna be blooming and flowering probably 
all at the same time because we started we've never done this before we've always done like little like little staggered so yeah, yeah we've never done this many plants all at once so oh yeah i didn't even think about that they're all going to be kind of going right at the same oh, uh right yeah. at the same kind of interval hopefully we don't fuck ourselves i think we'll be fine just looking at the um tents right now what you guys are looking at the ones in the solos there day 13 uh that's where we're at with all, with all of those ones all started at the same time day 13 since we put them into the soil so they're coming along how's this uh doing how's what the pole poles doing good looks like uh lemon bang bang squeaking out soul fire on the flexiverse organic setup so in the tents there we on the left or the right side in the green pots we would run those with the same floor flex watering system um and then the right we're going to try the auto pots or i'm sorry the left is the auto pots um with the tray so we're definitely going to Try the tray thing, and if you guys have any tips and pointers on those things, I think we got it all set up right. Uh, but basically, you just fill it up with water, and it will fill the tray, and then it has a little float, so it stops. And it's just gravity fed. There's no timers or anything like that, so get a much longer water period out of them than what we've been using with the AC Infinity watering bases. I was thinking about how we're gonna do this organic run, and because it's like. Um, like a bottom watering feed i was wondering should i put like my amendments on the bottom before so uh i mean I'll, i'm moving forward i probably would have to still put them on top but like just to kind of get it going what would you think about that is that a bad yeah. idea i mean you can still with the system you can still water from the top you would just turn it off at the reservoir so it wouldn't you know let it well yeah i like to water dry. my plants from the top no matter what and i like to make sure that the top yeah. isn't getting all like hard i don't like it when it does that like aerate it you know right it'll be it'll be a new thing so we'll see <laughs> free tents to everyone we'll who presses see. like i guess i wish uh, I'll lemon bang bang is she's i guess lemon she's bang bang is uh is I holding, actually holding expected it down bahama peel to be the to be ahead, but yeah. I, I'm I'm excited. I hear a lot of really good things about Exotic. I've been hearing about them, about them for a long time, and we have yet to try any of them. So I'm kind of excited about this. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Tommy, uh, Tommy, you're right with the uh, with the uh, auto pot system. Like you don't just turn it on from the beginning. Like we have to wait till the plant is like established and the roots are set up enough before you even turn the system on. So. You know, there's definitely, we'll definitely figure it all out and read into it more, um, but it's pretty straightforward. I think I, you know, I think I understand how the whole, how the whole system yeah. aspirates and you can feed uh, nutrients through it as well, like Floriflex and stuff like that. So I, I was kind of curious and maybe trying to flex run in it down the line. I voted for Neil's hairdo. <laughs> I know, I that gets the vote. Thank you, Christopher. <laughs> So wait, so I shouldn't start using the water until what? I'm into flour? No, I don't you turn the bot you turn the bottom watering system on when the like roots are established in the pot and it's like, you know, got some nodes and actual branches and then then you turn on the bottom auto uh, pot system. All right. Well, I'm gonna need you guys' help. Please. <laughs> All right. I mean, you guys will see. We're gonna we're gonna start the new vlog style, and we're gonna have one out soon, um, just to get that started. So we're gonna kind of cover the whole setup for all these again uh, in a better way, and then we're also gonna you know just cover all the genetics and everything that we're gonna try. Um, so we're pretty pumped for that, and then we'll still have seed harvest coming. So that's the that's the plan. Make sure you get pot socks. What are pot socks? Somebody just said pot socks. Don't know what that is. Don't know. Please take clones. So yeah, um, putter pants, that's a great question. Um, we were actually planning on doing that. Um, what, what question? One, of, one of the neighbors guys grows and he's got um, a pretty big setup with a lot of room. So all of these ones that we're gonna be starting for the Lord of the Lemons and Triploids guys, we're gonna be taking clones of all of these. Okay. Um, and then we're gonna bring them over and he's gonna keep them going in there. So if we do potentially find a banger out of the hunt of all of these, 
you know, then we'll have we'll have the clone going over there and then we can always go get cuts again or just see how his turn out growing in a different method. Like he's got a whole big setup and we'll, we'll definitely show you guys in some upcoming videos uh, what's going on over there. But so that that was also, yeah, the great you brought that up. So cloning is something we'll definitely we're going to try this time and then we'll, we'll definitely take cuts of that. all the photos that we're getting. So from these soul fires, exotic genetics, the Humboldts, the Umami. If if all of these, you know, we'll take a cut, bring it over there, let it keep growing, and then we can check back at the end, see how those either turned out or be able to get more cuts if, it, if we find one that was really, I guess, we deemed a keeper or the Lord of the Lemons. The Lord. <laughs> yeah, the Lord. We will really. crown them. <laughs> the Lord of the Lemons. Or do you unite a Lord? Unite a Lord, right? That dude asked right. if we've done some outdoor before. We, we have... Um, just out on the deck, we put some out there, but none of them ever really turned out great. Usually they got too dirty because of dust and stuff from like lawn mowing. <laughs> I feel like we kind of need like an enclosed greenhouse to do it best, you know what I mean? Just because it gets so dry and then the dirt's just like blowing all over when we mow, it's kind of weird. I want more Tron. <laughs> Dave says he wants more Tron. I was trying to read one of these, all the, all the comments. The comments are always so crazy. <laughs> well, I, what do you guys think? Uh, we're going to be doing organic versus Floriflex again. So yeah. I need your help, you guys. I think it's going to be fun, um, and I can't wait, because now that we have the new timers, guys, so we can do less waterings, because with the AC Infinity controllers I was using, the lowest watering t like time uh, interval it could do was a minute. So it would like really run off, like it really saturated the pots and I think it was oversaturating um, the cocoa to the point where we started to have gnat issues. One of some of the plants had root issues um, and I think it was just overwatering. So now, now that we can do these shorter, like, I don't know, I'll have to test, but maybe like 10 second watering intervals, like more spread out throughout the day. I think that's gonna help with the root growth because I think it was just overwatering. So the roots really weren't really stretching or trying to go for anything, they were just, staying smaller because it was too much. Um, so that's one thing I really used the pulse to help learn on um, and just to visualize that and see how it was that grow and how it affected the plants. And then now this next grow, just make sure that they're not, they're drying back more. Yeah. And I think that's gonna help with the growth. I'm, I'm so excited about the triploids. Like I think out of every, every one of the tents, that's what I'm more excited about. I'm yeah. very, very excited about that grow because we learned a lot in the last, in the last grow with the Neil to Heavens, which I'm really happy that we had that grow before we did the triploids like this, because we would have fucked it up. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I'm grateful for uh, for having that learning experience before we do this, because I mean I I don't want to fuck these ones up. Right there, Mike says 12 seconds six times a day. See, that's pretty good. I was thinking I was really just gonna kind of go with it and then kind of watch and more what I was going to do is use the pulse to watch the dryback mm -hmm. percentage and then s figure out like where I am and then like Floriflex even has some recommendations on like amount of drybacks and stuff like that so I'm probably going to be trying to mimic just a general dryback thing yeah. with the system and then really try and hit that and I think if I can it'll be probably one of the best grows like I would definitely not disappointed in the way the Tropicana cookies turned out um, they look just beautiful like those ones turn out amazing even even looking at just some of the spin shots, I still have to do the one of your of your Nug Organics before we left. But this, they turned out that Tropicana cookies turned out like a freaking beauty queen oh, on the God. flex. It was and, so beautiful, right? And I think we can do better. Even even with the overwatering situation, um, it still turned out like a banger. And just we're, we've been smoking on that now, and it smells so good. It's got like this. Like citrus uh, funk to it, but also sweet and gassy. <laughs> so um, it's 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 definitely a beauty, uh, and I can't wait to get this. So we're probably gonna focus on that seed to harvest uh, coming up next. Definitely, guys, don't forget crop culture, the box that we just checked out. Uh, this is his Instagram. Give him a follow. Cool dude. Chris, he's also into doing the macros and the in the shots and stuff. So I gave helped to answer some questions. So hopefully we see some more dank shots coming. <laughs> <clears throat> 
Yeah. <laughs> this yeah, one, if you didn't see this one, this is one of the little baby nug trees we just cut down. I don't think we can hear it. The one that got stunted, you can't hear it. If you want to hear it, you'll have to go to the Instagram. <laughs> and also, uh, if you didn't see the new Pulse video, Pulse did drop a new product. It's the Pulse Zero. So it's essentially the Pulse One. So this one doesn't, it doesn't have the PAR meter or the CO2 or the uh, PPM and uh, the PAR meter, but it is a Pulse One and it's USB powered and it's Wi-Fi um, and they just dropped this. So you can see more info about it in the new video because we actually got to go tour the headquarters. Um, just a small company, guys, made, made in the United States and everything. We had bagels. Yeah, it was really neat. Chris took us around <laughs> and showed us kind of the thing and uh, man, they're, they're pretty nice. And if you guys want, you can pre-order one now. If you use our code, you get it for 89 bucks for the new one. It's just it's much, much tinier, much smaller. Uh, with all the same great features and integration, the batch tracking and, and the stuff we covered kind of in the new video, we talked about just what we like about using it, our experiences so far. So it's been, it's been dope. It looks like exotic genetics, lemon bang bang. I think so. So that's what we'll do guys in the middle tent there on the side, the floor, we got the floor flex side, we got the auto pot. Um, organic side. So what we're going to do is take the lemon bang bang, one in flex, one organics, and then we'll take the um, orange, or orange sherbet, orange cream, or orange cream pop from is Humble. Orange, is it orange cream pop? It's I orange always... cream pop from Humble, okay. and then we'll do that organic versus flex and see how they turned out. And if it's anything like the um, the Tropicana's we did, they both turn out amazing. They did. I was really happy with that. Um, I think we flipped them at the right time. Th although I will say the Tropicana cookies in veg, they were super, super busy. Like I had to defold a lot in veg with those. Yeah. It'll, I mean, they will still be different phenos, different seeds, but it'll still be interesting to see. And since we are going to be taking cuts of those and have them continue on uh, at our friend's place who has space to do that, um, then we'll be able to even go back to those if we want. Like if one of them turns out the best, then we could take a clone of that and start two clones at the same time. And yeah. that would be, that would really be that the best be the way test, to do right? the test, right? A clone of the same. And then testing, then like then the, the th nutrients. Like uh, the tea the jacket? Yeah, the, the whole, tea jacket. The whole shebang? <laughs> the whole lemon bang bang? Prolific, we have been using that same method still uh, for the drying. We still use the little, this is a two by two, whoop, right there. <laughs> the two by two, so yeah, we still put them in there and just let them kind of spin uh, spin dry. Do you want to see my last harvest? <laughs> the one nug. Well, there's technically two, but you guys, they are two different plants. It's two nugs. Okay, they're still drying, so don't mind all the... I haven't obviously trimmed these. You can do the... You can... There you go. I have not trimmed these, obviously, <laughs> so don't... But these... This is... This, these are literal whole plants. <laughs> Follow along for more grow tips. <laughs> no, this is... So the left... Well, the smaller <laughs> one is, is a Mephisto. Um, and the other They're one. They're still drying. I literally is, just chopped them on Thursday. The, the, the single nug that's a little taller, like a Christmas tree, is Fast Buds. Uh, <laughs> seeing strawberries. These are basically this the This was red totally cup our challenge. fault. This is what happens if you start them in solo cups and you do not transplant and you just them. just don't care. Fast enough. Hey, we didn't have time. If you're going to transplant an auto, just make sure you do it early enough before. That's going to be a good bowl. That's going to be a good bowl right there. You know. <laughs> we might be able to roll two joints. I'm gonna roll this into a really fat joint, and I don't I'm... think we'll ever get that trim. We might have to have some people come over and help trim. <laughs> Shut. <up. laughs> I think you're gonna have to hire We're gonna be somebody. We're in trim jail for like a month with these two. <laughs> I can't believe these are. <laughs> but for real, so I mean, we just kept growing them out, haven't wanted to finish them out. And you know, really guys, we we are just, I feel like sometimes maybe people get confused, like we're just growing for ourselves. We're not growing to try and, people and get all bad, do shape. anything else other with it than just our personal enjoyment. And we, with the limit of 12 plants that we have, like we have 
more than enough. So it's we're not really concerned on yields, massive yields. We're having yields. fun and we're smoking what we got. You know, we're having fun and we're we're getting one nug runs. And we're gonna we're smoke it. We're figuring it out. I and, mean, uh, you know, we're just having fun with it. So you don't know unless what you grow. It is. I know we're we're awful. <laughs> I followed for seed to harvest on Christmas tree wrappers. <laughs> um, well, stay tuned for that one. We can put like one light on it. Well, one single if light. If you'd like a bountiful harvest like this, yeah, please follow these instructions. Just leave it in a solo cup and you tell it to fuck off you, for a while. You have a little baby on it, and then come back to it and act like you care. And it will say, fuck you. Christopher asked, when's the last time we went to a dispensary locally? That would be, that would be a question for you, because I don't ever. Um, the only time I really go to a dispensary is when my cousin drags me to one, because he loves them. <laughs> or uh, if I'm like traveling or if I'm in, a beer, in an area where I know I can't actually smoke, I like to go get the live, the live resin, like pen things, or yeah. the live rosin. Those are my favorite ones, but I mean, no distillate for me. But those, that's really the only reason why I go there is to get something like that when I want to be like discreet, but that's literally the only reason. Yeah. Yeah. Or, you know, edibles, uh, sometimes... <clears throat> but I mean, that may very few and far between. Yeah. Yeah. And dabs. But not anymore, because now I got a whole big old jar of it. Big old jar. Yeah, we do a lot of dabs now, because um, the guy, the guy up the road that we can, that we're giving the clones to from this run, he also does the butane extraction. So we took all of our leftover all stuff. Of it that we had froze that we were gonna maybe do something with, but we ended up just giving it to him and have him do his normal process because he runs um, quite a bit of stuff through. So we got a bunch of dabs now from, geez, everything that we've grown It was like, over uh, the it last ended up being like 136 plus. grams or something. Yeah, there's, so there, there's a lot. I there. don't know how long it's gonna take me to smoke 136 grams, but. <laughs> Do we it for a Patreon out. video. All How in one. All in one. Wait, should we just like, every time I uh, scoop out of it, I just like make sure I... The Terps, it smells good. It does, but like it has this weird funky taste to it that I just, uh, I just, it's... You think the butane? Yeah, I don't. He has, he has like a whole legit like vac vacuum uh, temp oven and stuff. So at like low temp and then vacuum so that it like evaporates off the excess or it's supposed to. I don't know. So there, there's definitely a lot of people who like the BHO and then there's people who are just strictly like the live rosin. I don't now. know. I just know that I've done live rosin and I've done this BHO and c quite honestly, there is a taste there. In the in the BHO, you think? Yeah. Versus the live rosin? Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like the salt Maybe list it's is just probably the, better. Where we're getting it from, I don't know. I guess I mean I I can't be I guess that that much of a judge. I don't know that much about it. Uh, but <laughs> Close your dry tap. If, if, from where Those from where two we... nugs might get overly dried. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we don't want to ruin the cure on those two nugs. Yeah, let's. We're worried about. We're worried about that harvest back there. <laughs> yeah, I agree. The BHO can add. It doesn't seem as clean or pure as like the ice water extraction. It's I think not. it might be the process might be a little easier with the butane extraction and a little bit more immediate. But you definitely need like a freeze dryer if you want to do the the live rosin I mean, well, I just... well or correctly. I feel like. It's like, I mean, a, it's like a requirement. What do I know? I don't know anything. I don't even know how to grow plants. Did you see what I just did? <laughs> Who fucking knows what we've I know? Had, we've My had the good and bad, the ups and downs. But we're, it's not uh, quite the sponge you think it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited, though. I think this Lord of the Lemons and uh, the Triploid Hunt is going to be dope. I'm really excited with what... Uh, did you guys see Dakota's new vid he just dropped with the new... 
Uh, place that he's moving in the grows and setups in the outdoors. Pff, mind blown. I can't wait to visit. I know. It are. looks incredible. Like all that for like $1,000 a month. Like, whew. If we could move to Columbia, we would be, we could get a sweet little we'd spot be, of land. We'd be really just. Living it up. I have to learn Spanish. For need, sure. It looks so cool, though. We hope to get out there and go visit like at that. some That's point. That's what the thing is. It's like that. We don't need that. It's beautiful. Just beautiful. I know Joe's got a lot of cool stuff going on. He's like redoing his grow room, rebuilding everything out. So I can't wait to see what that, that is. When it gets done, duck. it's going to be sick. Yeah. I'm I'm excited to go uh, check it out once it's all done and he's all settled and he's like, he's got his thing going because but uh, it'll be real fun to go visit. Yeah, it's going to be wild. We got an After Dark coming up soon. Uh, next week, Wednesday, guys, is going to be After Dark, the first one of the month. So we'll be On the 13th, I believe? Yeah, catching up, doing a bunch of fun stuff um, with Joe and Dakota, see what's growing on in uh, community highlights, giveaways, all that kind of fun stuff. We'll probably be having another Lord of the Lemon update soon with Joe and Dakota, either on one of our three channels. Um, just kind of getting some updates from the community. Actually, if you guys didn't know, you can definitely check out um, on the Discord. If you are in those grows right now and you want to like share uh, what's growing yeah, on. Yeah, you guys. We got that in the Discord so you can go post pictures, even little videos of your, uh, of your plants and where they're at. I really am loving seeing all the differences in all of them so far. Right. Wild West got some got some trips popping. Day two, day eleven. Oof, and we got some going in in Hydro. Look at all these amazing growers. Yeah, it's gonna be dope. Wow. Oof, look at the roots going on there. Roots. Look at the roots. Roots are on fire. <laughs> so that's cool. That's where I saw some people having some issues with stretch, um, and that's why I decided to run the lights uh, a little higher par in the, that AC germ. Lord bro. of the Lemons. This yeah. is wild. And, we, and I have some rooms on there, so you can do the Lord of the Lemons and share there. Dakota also has rooms set up on his Discord, so you guys can share there as well. Um, but this is where we'll kind of track everything. So if you guys are in either of these girl lungs, either for the triploids um, or anything like that, you can come jump on the Discord for free, post pics, talk to other people growing them. It's going to be cool. So definitely check out the Discord. Whoa, excuse me. Uh, uh. <laughs> Sorry, I was having like a dance in my head. Because I was thinking, it's Sunday. Sunday, I don't know. I'm scared for tomorrow. You know, the Sunday scaries. <laughs> yeah, right? Who wants to go back to work tomorrow? Bleh. Mm -hmm. Bleh. I don't want to think about it. I, I was know. just thinking about it, and I was, like, trying to get it out. Hopefully this week goes quick. I'm going to be gone for a couple days next week, um, but then I'll be back. Did you tell him what you did on Friday? <laughs> Maybe not. No. Maybe it's not. No, I didn't. But I'm doing all right. If you guys know, you're in the Patreon. You guys know. But I'm, I'm, I'm doing all right. So I made it. Survived. He's alive, you guys. Survived and alive. So. <laughs> Nothing happened to him. Appreciate all the well wishes and all that stuff. But yeah, what do you? Do? Another, another little bing bong, maybe. One more bing bong before we go. Yeah. Mm. And also, again, if you guys are in the Patreon. Uh, we will see you on Thursday, uh, where you'll probably see all these babies potted up. <sighs> potted up. So that's fun. I'm really excited. Lemon Bang Bang and Orange, and orange Cream Pop are going to be the side-by-siders in the, in the green tent. Side-by-side? Side. So this is, the, uh, this is the Tropicana cookies we smoke in? This is that's Ooh. this is the organic one. These are some of the nugs that came out from the trop cookies out of straight out of the bowl trimmer. So that one turned oh out God, flame. His hand just fell Bing Bong's off. hand just fell Bing off. Bong's hand just fell off. <laughs> Clinked it. He's, oh, it's Give me my hand back. Oh my God, it's okay. I got you, bro. I can't. Uh, I can't feel. You know what? You might be a bongologist, but I. I'm a surgeon. <laughs> I need my hands to be a bongologist. <laughs> oh, for me? Yeah. For Cheers, you. guys. Hope you guys are all having a good one. Uh, what? 
a week. I cannot wait to show you guys how these are doing in two weeks' time. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, they're going to be coming up real quick. So almost through their first two weeks. So we're going to be transplanting. We just had to get, finish getting the tent set back up and kind of just arrange. We cleaned everything out after we um, chopped down the... The Floraflex ones, the Trap Super Cookies, Super. the Neil to Heaven, all that. We did put the logos back up in the tents, if yes. you guys didn't see that. We have the pink tent, the green tent, and the red tent. So, can't wait to get growing again, trying new styles. And we got some we got some tries to uh, keep up with the content more, guys. We're going to try, like I said, going back to some of the basics uh, with the vlog styles while still doing the Seed to Harvest, um, just to rather, just to try and... Bring the grow vids back, right? Pixel I hear Nug. you guys. I see you out there. What up, Pixel Nog? How's it going, fam? Tron lives. Tron lives. This is the second Bing Tron Nog. reference tonight. Dave came in to drop some Tron, and now Tron lives. Is. Tron lives is an OG, though. <laughs> Was the taste any different? Uh, the ducky asked. So that's a great question. And we, again, on this run, the Floraflex versus Organic, is there a taste difference? I can't really, I don't tell any taste. As far as smoking it, no. No, no. and I think that the Floraflex one it might be has different. a way stronger terpene profile, like nose on it, than compared to the organic one, does not nearly have the, the smell. They were all, everything was grown and cured exactly the same, except one just organically, one with, the, with, like the, us, with the mineral based. If you like us, hit that like for us, fam. Please help sale your rhythm a little. If you, <laughs> but if you hate my face, it's okay. Some people do. Then you thumb down. You can do that too, if you want to. You can do whatever you guys want. We just appreciate you guys. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us. As always, it's fun. Um, and you know, the new year starting off right. We, there's already so many things so going much. on. Just being real, it gets a little overwhelming. And I know you guys want to see the grow vids, and I'm trying to get, find a way to get back to that a little easier and just, I, just, I guess our, I'm just still trying to get life adjusted over here. Like it's hard to keep up with everything and yeah. full-time jobs and, and family and everything and still f find time to focus and edit, which is really a, a huge undertaking, so. And we got new plants going on. Yeah, we got the new plants, so we want to share that. Um, so we're just, we're, we're, bear with us guys. Promise there'll be some good vids coming and uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Cheer, I think, oh, did you take the rest of it? I don't think there was much in there. Not very much left in there, but I still hit it. <laughs> Smashes likes for breakfast. I do, and, and water. I don't usually ever eat breakfast. Uh, I'm not much of a breakfast person. I'm not like waking I up and like, I want something for breakfast. Sometimes I wake up and my tummy is really empty and I need to eat something. But then there's other Maybe times where it makes me sick to think to eat in the morning, like there's days. So I get it. Coffee's more my style though. I do love a coffee, a, a nice coffee. latte in the morning. Ooh, I'm looking forward to that tomorrow. I'm really excited for these plants to all hit veg and so we can see what's going on there. I don't, go, I don't go to the store for that. Because I really, I, I don't know if you guys saw that Graham uh, vid or the other one, but I got this new probe lens and I can't wait to get dope shots from inside the plant canopy and stuff because it's and it's waterproof so we can put it underwater, but I think we'll be able to get some really dope shots uh, like never before with this thing. Like look at right between the little seedlings because it's so small. I do, I'm pumped guys. I can't wait to get some dope shots and, uh, and show you guys and incorporate this into some of our content and stuff in, the, in kind of a new way that you just can't do with any other kind of typical lens. So it's I think so it's going to be though. dope. It really is really Just imagine good. like having that go through like the top canopy of like the triploids when they're all scrogged out. Like I know you can, it. I actually. You can ooh, do some really it, dope yeah, stuff. Yeah, especially when you're trying like, you know, just imagine kind of like that shot, but in a scrog, you guys. Yeah, just like underneath or even going from inside the plant to outside. Yeah. Uh, there is some challenges I'm working on because it is so long like that. Like even the tiniest little shake is kind of noticeable. So it's really, 
it's going to be a learning curve on learning how to shoot with it better um, and building some kind of a stabilization platform and a little bit better slider. Pixel nugs, how do you like that? Um, but yeah, right, pixel nug, you know. But it's so there's some challenges to working with it, but I'm excited to um, start to be able to use it. And I can't wait for these plants to grow up, guys. There's going to be. We're gonna be trying to get some really fun shots and, and things that we just, I guess, never really done before. So, man, I love, do, I love doing this kind of stuff. And I think some of this stuff is my favorite things. I wish I could just spend all day, every day, just like editing and doing shots and doing this stuff. It's just right now still like holding, holding on to the day job. And like, you know, I don't know. I, I guess I've been afraid to take that leap, but, but maybe it's the only way to really you know, keep editing the videos and do do this kind of stuff. So we, we appreciate you guys that do watch and love, show support. Use our code that helps save you guys money and it does help the channel out. It really to does help the channel. Help us continue to try and build this and hopefully turn it into a full-time thing someday. So it's really hard with the cannabis content. It's always kind of an uphill battle, but... because yeah, we can't make money on we YouTube. We appreciate you guys. It's, you guys know it's been years. We've been just grinding and, and <laughs> grinding and growing and having fun. Um, and it's it's we've been trying to trying to get to that point. It's the dream oh, for sure. Very and uh, we we appreciate you guys all the love and support coming and hanging out and just getting hanging with us in, in a real way. So lots to come. We have we have things in the works. We hear you guys and uh, we love you guys for showing support and, and hanging out. Uh, and we're really excited about all the grows this year and all the fun stuff coming up. Yeah, we. Uh... We don't want you to feel like we're not listening to uh, what you guys enjoy about our content. Like we are trying to get back to uh, basics. It's been kind of crazy since we moved in and everything with the new grow and like the environment. It's all been just a crazy and roller coaster. And I feel like we're and... now on this incline where um, where we're at a point where we can really fully bring you guys our full attention. So. Hope you guys know that and we appreciate you guys. We love it. So we're gonna, we'll see you guys soon and uh, they'll be the start of the these grow alongs yeah, uh, video the this week for sure. And, and all kinds of other fun stuff coming up. So we'll see you guys soon. Love you guys. Have a great night fam. Happy Monday tomorrow. Woo. Bye.